In this class, we are going to learn about one more action in Oracle Integration 3 that is Parallel Action which comes under the Logic category. With the help of Parallel, we can execute the transactions in Parallel in our integration flow. Suppose if you see over here, we are having a single line or a single flow over here. Suppose if we want to send a notification what you see over here in the flow like we are having notification 1 and notification 2. Now the notification 2 will be sent only after sending the notification 1 after this step and this will be executed. What if suppose we want to send both the notifications simultaneously. So in that case we will be using this parallel action. So before going into hands on and see how to use the parallel action in Oracle integration let us have a quick walk through on the documentation. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on using process tasks in parallel with a parallel action. As I told earlier, you can use the parallel actions in order to process the task in parallel in order to improve the integration performance and the response time. What it will do is it will split into multiple branches if we use the parallel action. Each branch is processed in parallel due to their independence from each other. Now suppose if we use the parallel action over here. Notification 1 will be sent as part of one flow within the parallel action and notification 2 will be sent as part of another flow or the branch. Branch is the right terminology what the parallel action uses. Now coming to the use cases, I have given one of the use cases like sending the notification but in the actual business scenario, you might use the parallel action in order to process the order that is an order processing integration contains the individual task for checking the inventory and the customer credit and the legal constraint. Suppose if you want to check the inventory details, customer's credit history as well as the legal constraints, you can do simultaneously with the help of parallel action and at the end you can make a decision whether to process the order or not. Suppose if we go with the step by step approach, it will consume time and it will delay the response time of your integration. And one more scenario what Oracle has provided over here is in order to get the best price for your suppliers that is for an item. Suppose if you are placing an order on Amazon. Amazon will try to find the best seller that is at the lowest price. So this they are doing with the help of this parallel action. So this is just an example Amazon might not be using the Oracle integration at their end. Also an integration processes an incoming order from both the inventory and the legal perspective. For example, can the product be shipped to a customer's country? Both checks are been done in the parallel. So this example 3 is similar to example 1. Like if you want to do some simultaneous tasks, basically we are making use of this parallel action. So here are few guidelines and the restrictions provided like what and all features are supported by parallel action and what is the restriction. Currently there are no limit to the number of parallel actions you can include in an integration. Suppose if you have an integration you can have n number of parallel actions added over here. But the catch over here is you, maximum you can add only 5 branches to your parallel action. Only 5 flows you can create within a parallel action. If you try to add the 6th one it will be disabled for you. You can add the parallel action in both synchronous as well as in the asynchronous integrations like a scheduled or the application integrations. And other things like we can make use of the scopes, switch, logger, those things within your parallel action. Also you can make use of parallel action within the individual pick activity if you are having multiple resources for your rest trigger. So those things you can use. So nesting of parallel actions in for each actions, while action, stage actions within that is file stage actions with chunking is not supported. So you cannot use this with the combination of for loop that is at the time of recording this video this is the restriction. But Oracle might pull out this restriction and make this as a feature of the parallel action as well in future. So I am recording this class on 13th of May 2023. So in future this might change as well. So without wasting much time let us begin with our hands on. So in order to add the parallel action what we have to do is we have to drag the parallel action from here and drop it over here. As soon as you drop it will add two branches by default. Suppose if you want to add one more you can just click on this add and it will add the third branch for you. Now in our use case we do not want the third branch just we need two branches only. Just for demonstration purpose I have added the third branch. Now what we are going to do is we will drop this notification one and drop it within the branch one. So in order to drop that what we have to do we have to select this. There is the cut button over here or else we can just click on this actions and click on this cut. As soon as you cut animation will form over here around the action. Now what we have to do is we have to click on the plus over here wherever you are trying to paste and click on this paste. So this notification one will be moved inside this branch one. Done. Now similar like that we will do this for the notification two. Let me just cut and paste it over here. Paste. Done. Now click on save. 
Now what this branch 1 will do is, it will send the notification 1 with some content and branch 2 will send notification with some other content. In your use case, you might be doing a complex scenario like checking the best price from uh, various sellers whenever order is received for an item. Now, if you click on this, click on edit, you can rename this parallel one and you can give some meaningful name. Send notification parallelly. You can provide the name something like this and just uh, tab outside. It will reflect over here, the name whatever you give. And the branch one, it will look something ugly. Let me just name this properly. Notify, I will name this as one. Just click on approve and click outside so that the name will come over here. Similarly, we can do for the two as well. Now, in order to show what content I have in this notification, in notification one, if you see, I am just uh, hard coding over here, first branch flow and the first branch flow. Similarly, for the notification two, also I am doing the same thing like the second branch flow. This is just for the demonstration purpose, like we will be able to send the notification or, or do the transaction simultaneously with the help of parallel action. That is, it will save the time as well as the cost of the customer because TAM is equivalent to cost in business world. So, you can derive the decisions parallelly if you are having n number of web services or if you want to interact with n number of databases on your product and get the best price or if you want to sync the details across the systems. Suppose if your integration is getting triggered from ERP cloud, that is Oracle ERP for any transaction occurred, like order has been created, then you have to sync this order across multiple applications like a Salesforce and so forth things, then you can do with the help of parallel action. So at the end, you can consolidate what and all has happened. Now let's test this integration. Let me just save this. Go back. Activate the integration in debug mode. Let me refresh and check the status. It's inactive. Let me just run. We don't have anything in the request to send. Just this is a dummy payload which we have here. Let me just run. Here if you see a parallel branch has been created. That is branch 1 and branch 2. In the branch 1 it has sent the notification and the branch 2 simultaneously. It has sent the notifications. Now suppose if you look at the timing at what time these notifications were sent. So, those are matching exactly over here. There is a little bit of uh, milliseconds difference. Notification 1, if you see, we are having a message like first branch flow and for the notification 2, which is sent as part of the branch 2, it is having a message second branch flow. Now, let us verify from our Google account whether we have received the email notification or not. So, this email we have received for the second branch flow, which is sent as part of the branch 2 in the parallel action. And this is the first branch flow notification which we got from the branch one of the parallel action. So, this was just for the demonstration purpose. I have made use of the notification, but in the real or the actual use case, you might use parallel action for solving your real business problems, like whatever has highlighted over here by Oracle as an example.